Hey guys, um, this is my Buffy Season 6 review, um, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Um, season 6 brought quite a bit of changes. Um, this was the first season that aired on UPN, because Season 5, up until Season 5, it had aired on the WB. So, um, and WB canceled it, so UPN picked it up for Season 6 and 7. And um, as far as, like, uh, you know, just anything, really, I can't tell a difference, like, in... Like, if it switches networks, you know, sometimes budget gets cut back or something like that. But I, I really couldn't tell. Um, but anyway, this season um, introduced us to, well, Andrew, Warren, and Jonathan. Warren and Jonathan we had come across before, but Andrew was kind of new. And they were, like, the trio, like, the kind of nerdy uh, guys who just want to, like, get rid of Buffy. Um, and I... And yes, they are, like, quite pathetic, but, you know, they're just so nerdy, I, you know, they're like, they're, like, talking about, like, Star Wars and X-Files and all that, and you're like, hey, yeah, I know, I know that shit. And, you know, I, I wouldn't really call them the big bad of the Season 6, because, um, that would really go to Dark Willow. Um, yeah, and Willow's story arc throughout this season was you know, very well done. She's getting too much into the magic. Like, she's just using it for basically everything. And, you know, like, as Tara would only use it for, like, you know, every once in a while, Willow was, like, always using it every day, every hour. And so much she got addicted to it and almost got Dawn killed. And it's not until uh, Joss Whedon, you know, that killed Tara off that Willow, like, went overboard and went, like, full-on bad guy. Um, and, you know, killing Tara, I think, was, you know, it was needed for w what he wanted to do for the end, um, even though she was a really good character, and I liked her more this season than I did the previous seasons, I don't know why, it's just she didn't seem as shy or whatever this season, and I liked her and Buffy kind of come together and formed a friendship, um, yeah, her and Buffy are like, you know, more friends this season than they were the previous two. Um, and Joss Whedon had said, I read something, that uh, if Seth Green had still been on the show as Oz, that would have been him that got killed. So, thank God he left so I could bring him back in the comics. Um, hoping it didn't spoil that for anyone who hasn't gone that far in the comics yet, but whatever. So yeah, Dark Willow, I think, was just a really good big bad. Oh, and plus, you know, Giles, Anthony Stewart Head had, um, he had left the show as a series regular, and he was only in, like, eight episodes, um, which, you don't really notice he's gone, like, in the episodes he's not there, it's not like it's a big, like, loss, but when he comes back, you're just like, yeah, fuck yeah, it's Giles, and, you know, just, like, a piece of the puzzle has come back together. Now... Um, Dawn, she, um, she doesn't really play a pivotal role in the season. Like, I mean, her main thing was, like, last season. Now she's just basically Buffy's sister. But she, um, that part, that part in the finale where she kills that demon, I just, I, I was, like, cheering at that part. Because I always want, Bu uh, like, I wanted Buffy to take her out more, like, patrolling with her and teach her how you know, to, like, fight and all that, because, you know, you can't protect her from this stuff forever. It will catch up. Um, so, yeah. And then, uh, Spike, you know, he's got his love for Buffy and all that stuff, and, uh, you know, gets his soul back in the end, which plays a major plot point in, uh, you know, which is part of his arc through Season 7. Uh, dealing with that stuff, and I'll get to that in the Season 7 review. And as far as the finale goes, I love the fact that Xander was the one who brought Willow from, uh, like, destroying the world. Because he's, like, he's her oldest friend. He's known her, like, since they were very little. And, you know, he's got that connection with her that Buffy doesn't. And it, it was good to see that Buffy wasn't the true hero this time who saved us from the big bad. It was Xander. He 
you know, did something, you know, this time. Well, he saved Buffy in season one, but, like, he, you know, actually dealt with this problem, and it worked out really great. I, I like that they did that. So, um, as far as episodes go, you got the bargaining part one and two, which they actually combined into one episode on here, so you can just, like, watch it full hundred and or an hour or so. Um, Once More with Feeling, which is which is one of the best episodes of the series, written and directed by Joss Whedon. Um, you know, a lot of people claim that's their favorite. I don't know about my absolute favorite, because I'm just going to rewatch the series before I decide which is my... Like, I'm going to wait till I'm done, until I decide which is my absolute favorite. But it is just so really good, such a great idea. I mean, you gotta love the songs on there. It's not like a song you can say it really sucks because they're great. Um, t Tabula Rasa, very good. Um, oh, Double Meat Palace. That episode is so horrible. It's it's up there with Beer Bad as one of the worst episodes of the series for me. It just, uh, man, got an old lady with a fucking worm out of her head. Come on. Um, uh, Hell's Bells when Anya and Xander were going to get married I was actually hoping that they would get married you know, I didn't really want it to stop I wanted to see those two characters like you know, actually get married but in the wor wonderful world of Joss Whedon no one can be happy and then you have Seeing Red and basically like the last three of the season, you know, it's it just such a great season and a lot of people really didn't like it. And it's often referred to season six as season sex because everyone and their fucking dog is getting laid in this season. Like, really. Um, oh, and there were no crossovers this season with Angel, which kind of sucked because after Buffy came back, you I really wanted to see those two come together, and you know, so Buffy, you died. Yeah, came back. Now we really have something in common. But, I, uh, but it was mainly due to the fact that Buffy switched networks. I didn't really want to do a crossover with, um, two opposing networks, so kind of sucks, but they ended up doing it in season seven anyway. But that, that's something I really wanted to see, but we didn't. Oh well. So season six actually stands as one of my favorites. It uh, just really enjoyable. It has more memorable episodes with than um has more memorable episodes than season five did. So um, with that, that was this review, and I'll see you next time with my very last Buffy review. Not that anyone's really watching these anyway, but. Alright, I shall see you next time.